Well, let's give you a look at the raised bed. It's caged in here to keep the animals out. Um, the cilantro, it's doing really well. I love it in salsa, whether it be fruit and or tomato base. Um, and some red shallots coming up. They're not doing that great, but I've got a few. They're like a red onion. And the dill weed. Uh, I do a lot of pickling. And I also like to use dill, the dill blossom, to pickle with and to make tartar sauce with. I think it's just the best. Um, and there's kale. I just love kale. It's going to do really well. I got eggshell and uh, like uh, shells out of the creeks and things into here to help uh, balance the pH because of the manure. It's very acidy, so eggshell can help minimize the acid. On another note, 507 for gasoline, everybody here in Ohio. Every place I go, every time I have breakfast somewhere, Every hardware store I've been in, everyone is talking about the price of gas. All right, everybody. I'm going to take you along for a little bit of digging and a little bit of artifact hunting in this one. I find a really nice piece right here. It's a 1939 dog tag, and I dig that up out of a bottle dump. And you can see the rest of the collection. I have a variation of different counties and ages but yeah so I'm going to take you along on a dig I find a nice crew at two from 1927 it's a screw top but it's still pretty nice it turned out to be in very good condition so there you go everybody let's go dig and don't forget to subscribe <laughs> see ya storms are getting ready to roll in yeah it's like getting very cold very fast here some kind of like a handheld thumb scraper there's not a lot to this piece but you can see you know it was manipulated by a man and I am on Indian site but it's a little odd I don't find a lot of that sort of stuff now if I was to get away from the source area here I would I'd see a lot of little thumb scrapers because the material is so scarce it's pretty nice interesting anyhow no biggie but obviously there's a lot of water but this is a uh, like a woodland site and I like hunting this you know I don't have a lot of woodland sites around my area most of it's archaic in nature going back into paleo and well check this out I just picked this up you can see that's polished but look at the rest of it. it is very heavy very heavy you can see they they that is from striking it repeatedly so there's like a facet on it i mean look at this thing it's weird huh. is this a hematite artifact that's they used it as a hammer and it's got pecking marks all over or is that all the extra stuff here is that from the from a fire but that that's from human use. Yeah. So this is an ancient Native American artifact. Strange. Very strange. All right into the pocket. And with that, another broken triangle. This is the base of it. So there's another triangle woodland point. And then this tool see inside this spot right there quite a bit of usage or pressure mapping so there we go I'm gonna keep hunting this and then I can cross over and uh, do some more on the other side see all around this back edge right here up until this point in the break way up to right there there is a facet to it and that is because this was a grooved 
axe, one of those stubby ones with the hammer back end. Yep. So that would have been a woodland people's grooved axe, one of the short stubby ones with the hammer back end. Yep. It broke right in the groove. On the other side of the creek, I found this. I had someone disturb me, harass me, while I had written permission. He thought he was going to be an opportunist and cause me some trouble, maybe run me out of there. Well, I've been hunting that too long, and I'm too good of friends with the whole family for that to happen. So it didn't work out well for him, but I'd say it worked out well for me. I think it's some kind of like a pestle, because it's right there is where like the working part of this stone piece is. And it was found in association with some chippings. No point found. But I have found some points there in the past, and it's the same thing. It's the same kind of culture like a, a woodland people's. Uh, yeah, 400 to about 1,200 years in this general area. So that's kind of a cool piece. Hey, everybody. I'm back here doing some uh, bottle digging today. I got this hole rolling and I'm getting down to an undisturbed layer of crunchy nice stuff and then this popped out as just a worthless extract bottle I will not be keeping this there's no embossing but there is but there is a crock chunk down there um I got a blue noxema here It has a X and a one on it. I don't remember ever seeing one quite like that with just an X. Yeah, X. Yeah, I'm only probably about, in all actuality, probably about two and a half feet. That's probably about it. And you can see I'm hitting the base layer right there. And this, particular spot and I'll finish it up it doesn't go very far up into here if I wanted to I could cut down below me and come back in and I think one day I will but there's so many different spots in this dump to be hunted but I got a pretty good find there buddy this is a 1939 Coshocton dog tag it says 1939 dog and then Coshocton below it I'll clean this up and show it again, but I think it's brass. Yeah, 1939. That's a very nice find, everybody. I collect these. I don't know if that... All right, same hole here. Still trucking along. Same spot as I got the 1939 dog tag. An assortment of some other bottles too. I, I haven't shown them all. This thing here, it's really heavy. And it, it is embossed, base embossed here. It's like the L and F product corp made in the USA. It's very heavy for its size. And you can see here look how thick the glass is on that base. Yeah, it's a real heavy bottle. Yeah, and a bunch of other stuff over there that was of no consequence, but I got a pretty decent bottle. It's only a Sloan's liniment. Oh, let's see here. I just have such poor lighting. But that's what it is. It's an embossed Sloan's liniment, and it's a cork top. Maybe that's a little better. Yep, Sloan's liniment. No biggie, but at least it's face embossed. Well, I don't really have all that much farther to go until this is about done. 
Uh, a while back I found one of these Art deco type jars and it was cracked. This one is not. Well, I got a, another cruet, but this one's kind of better than this one. Yeah, it's kind of plain. You know, but this one's got the panels on it. So I will take this and it's without any tips or cracks. So I think I'm gonna take this one. See ya.